that you're okay with it being recorded. Okay, my name is John. My name is Lothar. Yeah, and I put this uh, question, or not, it's not really a question, but a conflict between goal versus, versus the goal of individuals in the Scrum context. And um, I was asked what I, how I mean that, and I think it's in a big organization when you are now in Scrum team, you maybe not have the opportunity or the chance to to show what you did because there is always the team goal that counts and not anymore uh, your um, thing that you that you bring to the to the team or, or your part of the work and then we make this extreme um, view on the topic uh, we said there may be two really great guys two uh, six there are in between and one or two, I don't remember the word here. Bozos. Bozos. <laughs> they may be hired. Uh, or fired. Yeah. Fired. Fired, yes. And yeah. So, uh, this Gedanken experiment that Peter kindly uh, proposed, and he challenged us with a question of thinking, what is the effect of such a system of, you know, rewarding the best ones and firing the losers? what effect might it might have on the team and on the organization and uh, the suggestion was that it leads to demotivation because people get maybe scared about the job um, it doesn't really promote the team spirit but more people thinking about their individual performance so maybe these people on top of them are less inclined to try to help people that are on the rest of the team and it might also lead to build friction inside the organization so that maybe good people here might collaborate with good people elsewhere but not really uh, getting the whole organization together also um, there's a risk that if you're looking for certain kind of people you're going to find certain kind of people so if you're a manager and you're looking to separate your bad from the good, you might find bad people and you have to maybe fire them and uh, Peter proposed that uh, there's a story where somebody who was not performing